Hey there, it's Mark, the Hot Wheels VW Drag Bus. This was a first edition, or new model, back in 1996. And some people, you know, we affectionately call this the cash cow, because Mattel will use it. Anytime they want to uh, uh, bring in some cash, they can do a limited edition with the VW bus. And they're almost sure to sell out. I have two samples here. Um, you know what? They're not the same. I'll give you a link at the end of the video. And it's in the description below. This one, this is the drag bus. This is the VW drag truck. It did have a moving feature as well. This pops up. And then you can see inside. This one came from a uh, Target set. I think California Dreamin'. As a matter of fact, this was... Uh, they had changed the base. Skinny wheels in the front. But the first drag truck actually had like a triangle opening just for skinny wheels. Now they've changed it. You can see it's open. So VW drag bus, VW drag truck. Here's a drag dairy. And once again, it's a funny car. It has an opening feature. This was a special convention piece right here. To be honest with you, this one has not really seen any releases in a while. I have a link to a video for this as well. So why am, I, why am I showing the VW Drag Bus? Well, because Hot Wheels, they got the monster trucks. They let uh, failed entertainment, Monster Jam, they no longer have a relationship with Hot Wheels. Now it is Spin Master who has the uh, rights to produce Monster Jam trucks. I like this salvager. Uh, you know, with the Spin Master stuff, I'm not going to... I'm not going to particularly be buying trucks that I already have when Mattel made them. You know, Gravedigger. I mean, how many Gravediggers do I need? Dragon? Oh, they gave it green wheels. Doesn't necessarily mean that I need it. So there's a quick peek at... Yeah, I know that Spin Master does Monster Jam now. So Mattel, they have the Monster Trucks. This is pretty good. Pretty cool. Snake Bite. This is a classic truck. In the 90s? Or it might even be modern. I'm not sure. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. So they got the Bigfoot license. So I think like Bigfoot and Snakebite are part of the same uh, independent driver. I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to say it properly. But anyways, they have something to do with each other. Snakebite and Bigfoot. So Hot Wheels is coming up with new castings. And it's nice that they're getting these licensing licenses for from actual monster trucks not monster jam because snake bite is not part of monster jam that's a different business that's feld entertainment but you know it's cool that mattel for their monster trucks they got their bone shaker so they make a bone shaker monster truck and it makes makes sense your, your guys in there driving and i think this one's actually on the uh, monster jam monster truck tour I forgot the name of what they call their show, actually. That looks fine. But so what are they doing? The VW bus, <laughs> um, this, is a, this is a popular casting. Bone Shaker is a popular casting, making a monster truck. Twin Mill is a popular car for Mattel, Twin Mill. Uh, I'm going to bring it up again. Uh, I'm going to harp on this. Uh, I, do not I do not like this. You, kids, kids might not mind. Kids might not mind playing with it. But, you know, if that's where you sit when you drive, uh, where are you sitting? There's nothing there. You just... So if the, if the driver's compartment is here, it makes sense. You know, so some of these trucks, even though they're, Mattel is using their cars, Roger Dodger. So that makes sense. You'd be sitting here to drive. Here, okay, so this is uh, Mega Rex. This would, they had this when it was in the Monster Jam line, right? Mattel made that. Here's an SUV, Demo Derby. Regular truck, twin mill. Let me see the back of uh, Snake Bite real quick, just to see if there's another fantasy car. Oh yeah, see Scorpedo. So they kind of put the driver in the front, but look, it's wide open. This one here, Piranha. Yeah, you know, driver could be in there, but I get it. I get it. It's fun stuff for kids. Don't get me wrong. This one makes sense as a uh, monster truck. You have Invader. That's a Hot Wheels model. Torque Terror, just like a regular truck. There's Snake Bite. Roger Dodger in blue, and then you already seen the orange one over there. Corvette, I don't like it. I don't like it. It looks silly. But if you find the Barbie one, that's actually a chase. Uh, it's supposed to be 
mm, produced in smaller quantities. So if you find a Barbie Corvette in the Monster Trucks line, mm, you might want to pick it up for yourself or someone you love. You've probably seen the boxes behind and you're probably wondering, what is in those boxes? You probably already figured it out, especially if you're a collector. You know what's going to be in there since I started the video, what the topic was. Well, in early December, right now I'm filming this in between Christmas and New Year's. Early December, I, a truck was hitting and it's like, I'm not seeing it. I don't want to miss it. So I've, I'll put some little feeler bids on eBay. So I put little bids. This one, they, they had an opening of $5.99. So I just put an opening bid. This one, $4.00. This one up here, $6.99. This one, $5.99. I just put an opening bid. Totally expecting to get outbid. I didn't get outbid. Anyways, with shipping, this one's $11.56, $11.13, $11.81. This one up here, $12. Uh, I forgot, $12.65. Whoever wrote that, it's kind of hard to see. I think it's $12.65. But so, yeah, they're all the same truck. The, anyways, but I'm going to take a peek. They packed four different size boxes, six by six, eight by six by four. A lot of people use that side size. This one looks like it's a little bigger, so that one might be nine. That one looks like it's going to be nine by six. Yep, it's one inch taller. And this one over here, 10 by six by four. Personally, when I sell Monster Jam trucks, Monster trucks, I should just say Monster trucks. When I sell Monster trucks, mm, if... I, I will either use an 8x8x4, or if it's an expensive one, like a Chase or a vintage one, I will put it in a 9x9. I'm going to give that extra inch. Now this one, all by the way, all of these are supposed to be in pretty good packages. So here is the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Look, it's taller, it's taller than the box on this side. And then this side, look, it's taller than this side. They must have it in here at an angle or something, but even as if it's in an angle, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to go on here. Uh, I'm going to be careful not to show any personal information, mine or otherwise. My snake bite keeps wanting to fall over. Anyways, here we go. Let's open the smallest one first. The auctions, all of the pictures look, all of the, in, the, in all of the auctions, the packaging looks look fine. One of them... It was, it was all blurry. I forget which one it was, but it's like, well, I think it's all right. Let's see. Yep, sure enough, at an angle. I won't, I won't reuse the shopping bag, but these things, I, I reuse them, right? Why not? No sense in throwing them in the trash. I can reuse them. I'm not sure if I'll reuse the boxes. I tend to use brand new boxes, but sometimes I do reuse them. Let's see, what do we have? There you go. You have the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks VW Drag Bus. Pretty cool. Let me check it out. This is the first time I've seen it in person. Like I said, I haven't, uh, I have not seen it in the stores. Looks like it's about the same size. Oh, actually, looks like it might be a little shorter, huh? I'll open up one of these. Whichever one is the worst packing. Look, uh, I've got a bad corner here. I, I don't think it was like that in the auction. Because I, I did not notice anything. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep this moving now. Now the second one. Nice popcorn. And the boxes uh, should be big enough to hold the truck nicely. And I thought it had a little bit of curve in the package because I could see... I can see a little glare. I can't get a light to glare. It looked like it was a little glare. But look, I opened this stuff. It's okay. It doesn't matter. But I did not obviously expect to win all four. By the way, let's see what the others were. I'll get to those in a second. What do they show on the back of the package? If you follow along with this, then you can check that out. We'll go ahead and see what else is here. There's the drag bust. Oh, Ringmaster. I'm going to need Ringmaster. That's a dairy delivery. I love that. Hey, two dairy deliveries. You have Abysmal. And Ringmaster. Ringmaster is kind of like, looks like it's black and white. Tiger Shark, it's fine. It's a fantasy. It's a toy. If kids like it, that's fine. But the driver would be right there, right? Just like that other shark car. I'm not a fan of the Camaro. It, it looks like nothing's here. It's just like sitting on top of a frame. Uh, 
well, I know people are liking it. That's okay. Test subject. And there's a different color for a bone shaker. Third one. Now watch. You know how it is. I turn. First of all, I thought I was going to get out bid. And I did not think I was going to get it. So I'm, I'm paying like $11, $12 each. And you know how it's going to be. I'm going to... I'm gonna walk into a store and I'm gonna I'm gonna find a whole bunch of them. This packing was okay. Oh, got a piece of paper. I'm gonna leave that there. Let's see here. Excuse me. Package looks all right. Not separated. Yes, yeah, a little bit separated right there. And the worst package I'm gonna open up, and then we're gonna compare it to the VW Drag Bus real quick. Just basically for sizes. Size comparison, width, uh, to see if it's made out of metal. See, this is pretty good size for a box for padding, right? So if the box gets squished, uh, it's it's gonna be, it has room. And there we go. Kind of popped up. I was thinking, don't tell me that the body's not attached. I didn't show you the top yet. I'll show you right now. Got your Hot Wheels Flame logo in the back. Package, all right. Yeah, it comes with a crushable car. Mm, nothing particularly I need. Okay, let me pick a package to open up. I looked at them all and this is the one. Like I said, I think all of them only had like one pitch or none of them had any description to whether there was any blister squishes, whether there was bad corners, whether there was creases. Nothing. They said, look at the picture. And sometimes you can't tell by just a picture like that, right? Uh, when I sell stuff, you and I don't sell anything new. Most of the stuff I have is older. Mm, very rarely do I sell something new. You'll get a picture. You'll get a picture of the whole package. You'll get a picture of this, picture of the top, picture of the back, picture of the front, picture of the bottom. And then like in this case, when the blister is separated like this, I'm going to tell you. Okay, so some people might look. Hey, how come yours is a dollar more than everybody else? Look, you get pictures, you see exactly the condition of the model. Uh, and another thing I do is I put them on my turntable. Right, I put, I didn't want to get it dirty. You get a picture like this, picture like this, picture like this, picture like this. And then you can see if the card is flat. And if I have enough pictures left, then you, I got to have one for the back too. To be honest, I'll, if I'm short on pictures, you get one for the back. But I'll have to like not use one of the side pictures. You only get 12 pictures, and this is the one, since it's cracked on the bottom, it's not separated. A little separation. We'll just go ahead and open it up. Here is our car. It, sometimes these things are a little tricky to snap together. That worked all right. Or maybe the snapping together was easy, but smashing them was harder. Anyways, uh, this is Mr. Gru's my collector channel. So we're not going to do the smashing part. That's uh, for kid stuff. Giant wheels. There it shows the instructions, of course. And I think that was all the paperwork. Nothing nothing else in particular. And yes, this is metal. Let's go ahead and compare the size now. So, height-wise, it looks uh, a little bit smaller, right? It looks like it's a little bit shorter. Just a touch. How about the width? Well very close just as it's just a touch small uh, more narrow let me get the bottom here and just put it right here it looks like it's very close but it does appear to be a touch more narrow not from this perspective it does not look like that and what's the other thing so this is a funny car opens up you have to be careful with that it's only a plastic clip right there uh it's clear that part right there clear it's only that plastic clip that is holding this together so you don't want to be flinging this around because that it, it, it'll pop off or it might snap. So does this have a, a funny car type? Nope. Nope. No funny car. No opening features. Very cool. Oh, there's one more thing I know. Metal. Dun, 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 dun. I think I think that was it. All the sides. Oh yeah, one more. The links. They're just about the same. Hey, it's winter. Figure I would leave this here for a little snow outro. Now here you have the VW bus. I have a VW bus playlist if you want to check that out. I don't remember which video I have for the drag truck. The VW, remember I told you that there was a difference between these two? 
The, the difference between these two is going to be in this VW bus playlist. When you click on it, check the list, find the video, and the drag dairy, you can check that out as well. If you got time, thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.